Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Dean, and this is Five Mesmerizing Minutes. I had a young man come to visit me the other day, and he insisted upon coming to me in person and uh, giving me an envelope for Christmas. Well, you know, I don't encourage that. Um, but he was he, he, he was so thankful to this ministry for all we've done for him over the years, and he gave us a, a rather nice gift. Uh, and then he insisted that I come down from my apartment building, my second floor, and walk down and go out and talk to his friend who was waiting in the car for him. I said a prayer with uh, all three of us. I led the prayer, and then I walked into the center lobby of our beautiful apartment building, here in Berlin, Connecticut. And I happened to see a neighbor, uh, somebody who lived on the upper floor. And she, I went over to her. I said, are you okay? I haven't seen you in a while. And she said to me, I've tried to commit suicide six times. Wow. My heart went out to this woman. And all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit took over my mouth, took over my mind, and I started preaching to her, and somehow, some way, in effect, the verse came out in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. This woman is all around 80 years old. And I was explaining to her how this young man had come up and given me a Christmas gift and had left, and that God put this circumstance together. I don't encourage people coming here and giving me money. But this gentleman got through security downstairs, got up to my apartment, knocked on the door, gave me the card. I went out to the car, came through the main lobby, which I don't usually do, and I met this woman who had tried to commit suicide six times, and she said, Pastor Dean, I need help. I said to her, God created this circumstance. He wanted me to meet you. And I explained to her, regardless of what you have done in the past or what you will do yourself in the future, that will not determine your eternity. No, <laughs> it's a gift. And all you have to do is accept it. And this is the season to accept Jesus. If you're listening to me, and you have never accepted Jesus, say right now to him, Jesus, come into my heart and change my life. Talk to me. Help me. I want to be with you forever. I don't know how to do it. He'll show you. I'm convinced of it. He loves you so much. This woman evidently felt guilty about a relationship. Uh, you know what, folks? We all feel guilty about something. I know I do. I've done some things in my life I should never have. I constantly try to remind people like that 80-year-old woman who tried to end it all. Jesus came for all of us, not because we can earn our way to heaven. It's a grace it's a gift that has been given to us by God the Father, and he sacrificed his Son so that we could be in his arms forever. That's a Christmas gift. We don't have to work to get to heaven. We have to believe in Jesus Christ and believe in his sayings and do them. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. It's a gift. 
Take it. Accept it. With thanks. This is Pastor Dean, and this has been five mesmerizing 